Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today I'm going to attempt to make sausage gravy and biscuits for breakfast. Alright, let's start with our biscuits. Now before you all give me any guff about putting my biscuits in a cake pan, it's just Papa and I, so I'm not going to make a great big skillet of biscuits for the oven, so I'm using a cake pan. I'm Canadian, folks. I've never done this before, so, you know, g g give, me, give me some leniency on this, okay? Because uh, I'm not from the South. I'm really not. So, and I know you all pride yourself on your biscuits and gravy and all that stuff, but, heck, I thought it was brown gravy, all right? Okay, let's start with our biscuits. First off, we have a cup of flour. Like I said, I'm only making a certain amount. And I'm going to put in about a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. And we'll sift that. Just like that. Now I'm making butter biscuits. Because, <clears throat> well, it's breakfast and we deserve butter biscuits. Right, Papa? It's Saturday. So I'm just going to dip my butter in my flour. I don't know how much butter to use, so I'm going to just use whatever looks right. Now my oven is preheating at 375 degrees. Okay, here is our flour, baking powder, and butter. I'm not going to salt this. Okay, maybe just a little bit. Because the butter itself is salted. And I don't have buttermilk, so I'm not making buttermilk biscuits. Just using, thank you dear. Butter and milk. Just plain old milk. And I may not have enough of that. We're just gonna stir this around. Use some of Papa's half and half cream. Oh, you'll love it, shut up. Not you guys, Howie. There we go. We just want this sticky enough that it'll hold together and pick up all the flour off the bottom of the bowl. Now this is only going to make a few biscuits. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fold it and then fold it again. I don't want to really roll it because the last little bit of dough is going to... There's one. Pretty sure I'm going to get three biscuits out of there which is just what I wanted. And there are our three breakfast biscuits. Now I'm going to put these in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes and get started on our sausage gravy and eggs. Right, again, it's just Papa and I. So one of my rounds of home, homestead sausage usually does two breakfasts and as you can see I've already used it for one. So we're going to get that in there frying. There's so many people out there say, I can't believe you've never made sausage biscuits and gravy. And for this you're going to need well, depending on the size of your family. You're going to need sausage enough for your family. Flour, pepper, and apparently just a bit of cream. Okay, I had to add a little bit of butter to my sausage because it's really lean. So now, we're just going to sprinkle some flour on there. Maybe about a tablespoon. And we're going to brown that flour right up. Now apparently this is where the magic is supposed to happen because we add a little bit of cream. Now I've made gravy with cream before, just not like this. Um, God, it smells delicious. A little bit of pepper. And when I get the biscuits out of the oven and the eggs cooked, We'll dish this up and see what Papa has to say. Okay, so here's our eggs. And here's our biscuits, fresh out of the oven. Now folks, I don't know about anybody else, but biscuits need to be buttered. There we go. Just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. 
All right, let's see what Papa thinks about this. Sorry, I broke one of your eggs. What? So, sort of. Uh, I would taste the sausage before you pepper it. Now this is all the sausage biscuits, or sausage gravy and biscuits we've heard so much about. Hmm. Very good. Do I need it to add it to the breakfast menu? Sure. A weekend menu. Okay. Papa's going to see how my biscuits turn. Oh, wow. Nice and flaky. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, sausage gravy and biscuits. Hey, y'all. How did I do? Take care. Bye-bye.